So the things that people remember from the last two James Bond films are the great car sequences. We looked at those and thought, we need to have an element of that. So, you know, we've built a town on the car driving. It's a real cinematic car experience. It's our creations. It's got a fantastic pedigree with racing games, all the way back to the Formula One games and stuff. So yeah, we, we know cars and we, we really enjoy doing driving sessions. It's just such a good fit for a Bond game. With our racing levels, uh, obviously they're not standard. With Bond, it needs to be much more exciting. We've taken all the best bits of what we've done before and mixed that with what we're known for in driving. So you have a really high-powered, high-speed car chase, as well as stuff blowing up all over the place. During our James Bond experience, the Bond will be driving a number of cars. It's just so much fun to drive. They handle really differently as well, so it's, it's, it's a nice mix uh, of the old and new. James Bond is always by land, by sea, by air, so we've got him in planes, although not flying them. We've got him on the ground, and we've got him on the water as well. We've got an amazing boat chase right at the beginning of the game, where you're chasing a terrorist through this Athens marina, avoiding all these other yachts and stuff as he goes on this devious plot to blow up the Acropolis. It's always that last second turn that he makes, it's always that last minute step on the brakes. We've really tried to, to get that into our driving experience, because it makes the player feel like they're doing something really cool in the game. Obviously, the whole idea is to make the player feel like they're being James Bond, so we've really tried to bring that into our driving sequences.